Luxor, a city in Egypt 126 years ago, was being excavated for a hundred years to find a treasure underground because it is the city of the kings of ancient Egypt, and many pharaohs are buried here. During the excavation, a body was found here, which belonged to a pharaoh of Egypt. Victor Lohr, a researcher, examined it and was surprised how it is still in perfect condition. He wrote a book called Royal Mummies, published in 1912. Later in the 1970s, researcher Dr. Morris Bokel came here and sought permission from the Egyptian government to study the body. There was a whole team for research with the scientist. First, they did research in Egypt. Then they got permission from the government to let us take it to France. Transferred there, big scientists started researching it. They did an excellent radiographic study using state-of-the-art technology in the abdomen, chest, and lungs to find out the details. From their investigation, it became clear that this corpse died by drowning in the sea. And in the old literature, there is no mention of anyone except Moses and the Pharaoh who died by drowning in the sea. Scientists said that the evidence suggests that there was a severe tidal wave before it sank into the ocean. Now the scientist got his head that if this person died by drowning in the sea, then who brought out his body? How did it come out? Who mummified it? And how did it reach the grave while it was drowned in the sea? It was a big surprise. How is it preserved till date? Then he said, it is the case of Moses. Bring the Torah. He read it with more research. When he read the Torah, it only contained information that Pharaoh and his entire army were drowned and not a single person was left. Torah, Psalms. There was no more information in the Torah. When he opened the Bible, the four gospels also did not say anything about it. Then he read the Bible, the Bible book of Exodus, chapter number 14. Pharaoh and all his companions drowned in the sea. Not one survived. What happened after that? There was not much information in this book. The Bible, Psalms, chapters 9, 10, 11. Pharaoh and his entire army drowned in the sea, and not a single one of them was left. Dr. Morris was very surprised, but meanwhile, the news spread that the body of a pharaoh had been found who drowned in the sea. Then in 1975, Dr. Morris attended a conference in Saudi Arabia. He also presented his research and told about the pharaoh and said, I am surprised how his body is preserved till today. Here, a Muslim researcher said, let me tell you, how is it preserved to this day? He opened the Holy Quran, Surah Yunus, verse 91, 92, 90. We led the children of Israel across the river. So Pharaoh and his army pursued them with treachery and cruelty. When Pharaoh, when he was about to drown, he said, I have believed in him whom there is no God, but in whom the Israelites believed. The Holy Quran words, and now I become a Muslim. Now I believe, even though you were disobedient before, and you were among the mischief makers, O Pharaoh. So today we will save your lifeless body, so that you will be among those after us. Maybe a sign of instruction for, and indeed most people are heedless of, understanding our signs. To this day, no scientist has seen an electron, neutron, or proton but they believe it exists and believe it without seeing it, by seeing signs or symptoms. God also shows his signs and symptoms to men, so that people may know him, believe him. Upon hearing this, Dr. Morris Bacalay could not control his emotions, and stood up and declared, I bear witness that there is no worship but God. And Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah. And the Quran also says that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last prophet of Allah. That is, no other prophet or messenger will come from him until the day of resurrection. The signs of the Quran will continue to appear in every era. Some have happened today. Maybe some will appear in front of those who come after 1,000 years. The Quran has told many secrets of the heavenly universe, but science has not yet developed enough to see them. One, the day they will be able to see far in the sky, they will see many secrets revealed by Allah in the heavenly world. Even today, the pharaohs who are oppressing the innocent people should fear Allah. They are also going to meet their end soon, just like the pharaoh of Egypt met his end.